Zack let the treasure hunt begin. A crowded place, and yet it is very quiet there. Have you figured it out, Zack? Must be the graveyard. Oh, you son of a bitch! Of people there, but none of them can speak. You see? I already figured that so out. Let's get going to the graveyard. I was going to unveil my brilliance in a moment. Welcome back to more deadly premonition. I, this moment, this very moment, is a brief hello as I hop back into my pimp mobile. You heard me. Put the rock music on. And I will meet you in 2048. I don't mean the year. But I will see you at the graveyard. Here we are. Sounds like we're walking on concrete, but actually it's dirt. Just as Harry said, it's crowded and quiet. Doesn't make me feel cold, that oh. I see wages, and I hear a voice, and I see pixels. Wow, you look ill. You look so ill. Hey, Brian. Agent. Mr. Agent, how are you? Oh, uh, not bad. I'm, uh, just playing a little game with Harry. Game? A game? Oh, uh, is that fun? We've only just started, Brian. The fun is about to begin. I'd like to ask you something, actually. Is there a tree in the graveyard that drops red seeds? Seeds? Red seeds? Yes, that, Brian. That tree does. And that one. And that one, too. All red seeds. Ah, so here is the epicenter of our seed explosion in the world. Purple mist. Not again. Brian? You better stay here for your own safety. While I... You can't keep this item off for fuck's sake. Let's take a brief minute before the horror begins and look what's in my inventory. I must be carrying fucking oodles of stuff. What's stabilizer? What are you? Fuck you. Okay? Because us need pickles and crackers. I've got like a wad of worms. I don't want those worms either. I'll buy more. And you. I can't be carrying this shit. What's this? An egg? Eat the fucking egg. I'm getting really tired of not having any room in my inventory for anything. Uh, I've got wads of medikits, but they, if you look, they actually work on their own storage basis. Six out of eight. One out of four. One. I can only carry one of the big ones. Um... I'm just like getting tired of hearing that I can't carry any more stuff. Anyways, let's go have a nosy around the graveyard. Once we've checked around the back of here, could I observe the tree then? This tree somehow looks both beautiful and foreboding. The tree wishes you ill. Kill it. I'm not going to kill the tree, really. Actually, so. um, listen to that ominous tunage. Oh! Beasties! <laughs> well, how about this for a turn up, ladies and gentlemen? We didn't know we was going to be f having fun with the natives. <laughs> Big guy, you're a wimp. Screaming for help after one bullet in your head. And you won't get no more, not from me. No sirree. Give me a second. Uh, oof! 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 God's sake, just die. Fat shit. Let's go. Set the sector reload. Uh oh, there's more coming. No, knife. Hey, pretty lady. What's that? Oh no, she's gonna shoot me! Actually, he did shoot me as well. Can I get round you? I figured as much. Give me a second, we need to discuss this, because this is getting silly. Wow, the shotgun doesn't persuade you like it used to! 
Hey, you. No. Oh. <laughs> the noise that came out of me then was kind of pathetic. Oh. I think they're behind me. Oh. You. What are we going to do? Don't shoot me again. There's too many of them. Six and ten mil bullets. Wow! These ones packing the guns are assholes. You slimy fucking bitches. Let's go! No. Come on, folks, we can get through this lot. Shit! I got a fresh one. I keep a set of them in my pocket like stack rooms. Come on, come on, York. That should be enough room. Stop pushing! I've I have released the thank you. Give me something. No, it's empty. Give me something. I'm not stupid. Here we are, in the Red Seed. Zap mission accomplished. Let's get back to Harry's. Strange. Ward. Better be good. I got Red Seeds. Not that I've but got loads of these seeds. They were right here under my nose. It's as if I was carefully carrying a bottle of water while walking in a pool. We're learning the countryside version of common sense the hard way, Zack. We are? <laughs> well, it got a little bit populated on the path here, but as you can see by the sky, it's not as crazy. It's still pretty creepy and foreboding, but it's not as crazy now. Are you gonna be- oh. A doggy! Hi, doggy. What's this? I know you can't see me. Don't worry. I know you missed me and you panicked. Something here. Something for the dog. What? A left foot bone? A human bone? This doesn't look related to the case, but shouldn't I let someone know? Yeah. Tell George. <laughs> Tell George that there's a human bone being discovered. Doberman. Hello there, dog. Prepare to die. No, I wouldn't. Dog, I like dogs. You're not open? No, you're not open. So we're going to take the path back. Is it going to be a son of a bitch of a scrap again? Or am I just not going to be able to feed? Thank you. Let's put us a weapon on, just in case. Uh, now it's a merry stroll around the garden path with no fat ass zombies blocking our way. I think that I'm just running to my car to go back to Harry to get my reward. Hi, Brian. I saw wages. There they are. Nice. Okay, then. Is it really worth me forcing you to come to the... Yes, Chief, I'm making you come to the car with me. Is this where my car is? I don't know. <laughs> it creaks like a door. Hmm, magical. Here's my car. Right then, I'm going to cruise over to Harry's and get our reward, and it's going to be good. Um, I don't know how I can guarantee this, but it, it, it will be. Back to Harry's. Camera. <laughs> Mr. Francis York Morgan. 
Yes. Finally, you have arrived. You are welcome to come inside. Thank you. And by the way, that doesn't roam. I'm just saying, little asshole. Oh, sorry, I was having a tip, a tip of my C. <clears throat> what the fuck? What do I mean? Who knows? I have a huge mug. A huge Disney mug. It's not mine, it's my girlfriend. It's huge, though. As big as my head. Play the tune, then. Bwang. Mr. Francis York Morgan, please yes. proceed to Mr. Stewart's room. There he awaits you, I shall assume. <sighs> Thank you, Slim Shady. Oh, here we go again. 14, 23, 26. Oh no, red velvet rope. There's definitely no way we could. You alright, mate? <laughs> Boof! No umbrellas. We all knew that was the first thing I was going to loot for. Um, until I get more shotgun shells, I'm going to pop my shotgun. In here. In here. Okay. I would like to put away my shotgun, please. That uses the 10mm auto, right? Yeah. So what the fucking hell uses the the 556s? I'm going to be using like a, a bigger machine gun. Uh, I'll put that in there as well. No, 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 I don't put that in there. What can we get from Panda Bear? Anything new? I could actually buy some shotgun shells now, thus rendering my shotgun more useful. But I oh won't. Well, not for now. I just bought a lollipop. Okay, there's the inventory management thing gone. Trust me, if I do a Let's Play of Resident Evil 1, like the original, it's gonna be. What? A can of pineapples? See, look, this is why I empty my inventory. There's gonna be another one, isn't there? Because there's a wad of them. I'm not shaving, I'm not doing anything. Was it 14, 23, 26? Is that the numbers that was on that thing? I've got to read it again now. Fuck's sake. 14, 23, 26. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, could it be one? Yeah, who gives a shit? I tried to, okay then, it's locked, that's why. Okay then. We're not going in there. We're not going in here either. We're going in here. Give me a second. Thought it was as good a time as any scene as them dicks with the shotguns was fuck. Oh man, I hate these puzzles. Right, well, we've got numbers on the floor by any chance? 14, 23, 26. Okay then, so let's say that we do need to put these on different uh, numbers. So let's try 14, 23, 26 in the simplest manner we can, which is uh, 10 and 4. So we need to move a statue here. Nearest one would be probably that one. Oh, good, you. This could take a while. The fuck? The fucking push the statue. Push it. 
No, you push it. Very good. Right, now technically that's ten and four. Oops, he does it. I didn't stop. Alright, that's fourteen. I must be doing it right then. So, basically, if you're not figuring it out, like, obviously, these go up in tens, so this is the 20 column, and those go up in singles. So, this could take a while. There we go. Everything is in place. Right. If you don't know where I've done them or how I did that, I don't know how to explain it any better. Obviously, this is the this is the 20 column, this is the 10 column. 10 plus 4 gave us 20, uh, give us 14, and there's 26 and 23. So there you go. And for the record, now I haven't played the game before. I just find these puzzles ridiculously fucking easy. That's one thing I am good at. The action aspect of some games I can really be a big massive smelly sweaty letdown but um, I don't know sometimes the puzzle aspects I seem to kick ass at wow I look awesome looking good can, can I steal a suit from Harry maybe a dress can I wear a dress no let me out oh there's another door wasn't there can I open that one or is that blocked hello door you don't mind if I shoot your padlocks off, do you, Harry? Nah, I didn't think so. <laughs> he just locks his rooms for fun. It's just one of them things. Ha! Oh, it's just a quick way back out. Oh. oh okay. So what am I meant to do then? I've, oh, did I miss a door? Have I missed something? I've done something really stupid and you've all seen it and you're all shouting. At the game. I can hear you. It's okay. I can't hear you. Stop being so bloody stupid. Oh, I didn't go this way, did I? Let's check this way first. Probably just going to lead us back to the normal hallway. But Harry doesn't have the right to have locked doors, okay? So I need to get around this place. Sharpish. No, Harry. Probably should... And try to get in here. Why? Well, I've shot the lock off two doors. And we are in. Nice place. How did you get here so fast? Asshole. You know, York was miles away. Harry, turns out what you said was true, and I'd like to hear more. Who? York, as you know, there's a powerful mystery surrounding these seeds. You've seen them at those other murders that took place elsewhere. And you've seen them deeply involved with the murders in this town. That's right. But how do you know all this? York, you must be younger than you look. Youngsters tend to hurry so much that they let things slip right past them. What you need to do is slow this down a bit. That way you'll see what's really important. Let me tell you a story. Legend of the Raincoat Killer? 
Stop playing games with me, Harry. That's nothing more than folklore. The FBI has no such record of a multiple homicide case in this town. York, Anna, Becky, and now Diane. Their deaths are real, not folklore, not legend. records about it, then how do you know it really happened? Good question, York. Why would I know this? The answer is very simple. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. Brutal killer himself. But we can talk about the details of that encounter. So you're saying that the series of cases I've been following are all linked to this town. That's interesting, Harry. But there's no evidence to support that story. None of the criminals we caught for the other murders ever mentioned anything like that. It's your job. It's worth a look. And we may as well let the old man have his fun. Wow. <clears throat> that was some plot stuff. <laughs> We've crossed the 200 line of enemies defeated. Let's take a look at my wages. Nice. Woo! Enriches some shit. Anyways. Um, yeah, let's go and search the sheriff's office for the records and try and find out um, 
if this is all true. And the, when he said military, I immediately thought of that old soldier guy with the fake-ass military uniform. Uh, the general. Was it the general when he wears a soldier uniform? Him. Anyways, I will see you next time for more Deadly Premonition. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, do a comment. I love the comments, you know that. Um, and I will see you next time. Take care, everyone.